All right, so as odd as this sounds, a Tetris movie is now officially in development. Yes, that <clears throat> Tetris, the one with the blocks. Word came out that Threshold Entertainment will produce the film, and CEO Larry Kasanoff has described it like this. It's a very big, epic sci-fi movie. This isn't a movie with a bunch of lines running around the page. We're not giving feet to the geometric shapes. Schnepp, are you excited for a Tetris movie? Don't lie now. <laughs> I like shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I like I like moving I like moving like shapes, shapes around and fitting them into other shapes, but that's not a movie, all right? This is idiotic. This is this is we reached a new low where we have some executive explaining we're not putting feet on the shapes, but it's shapes. It's like come up with another. Don't, why even Tetris, Philbix, Gromlor, Scrimbix? There's a brand new title. You don't have to pay for the IP. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm adapting a brand new movie. It's called Breakout. It's about some dudes in a rainbow prison. <laughs> it's like, come on. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. I love Tetris, the, the video game. The sad thing is I want that movie. I uh, want to see that movie. I'm making a Breakout, guys, a rainbow prison. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Dennis? Uh, no, I'm not excited for it either. I'm also disappointed that he's like, it's going to be a sci-fi epic? What does Tetris have to do with that? <laughs> nothing. Like, nothing. nothing. <laughs> but at least like when you hear Tetris, it's Russian. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, OK, it's going to be a, some sort of spy thriller where this American hero breaks into a top secret Russian secret facility and he has to play the Tetris game to like keep the nuclear missiles from launching. It's like speed or something like that. I'd see that movie. For two hours, right? <laughs> but, but instead, it's a sci-fi epic. So I don't know. That, that part of me really, I mean, other than that, the fact that I'm making the movie. Dennis, they're not putting feet on the shapes. You don't get it's it. All, it's all no good to go. Feet. There's no totally feet on, different. It's totally different. Yeah. Geometric shapes with no feet. Now I'm in. All what right. really kills me about this statement is the fact that, OK, first of all, Threshold, it's this company that's done some straight to home video type of Lego properties. And it's done something. And they're also involved in developing theme park rides and theme park stuff, right? What killed me was the CEO of the company, in his comments, he actually mentioned the fact that, and this is going to make great on-site entertainment theme park attractions as well. So immediately, look, we all get that in the movie world, you know, uh, merchandising, expanding, that's all part of it. I get it. But for heaven's sakes, if you're producing a movie, don't come right out at the bat and admit right up front, what we really care about is making theme park <laughs> rides. You're not exactly giving me any hope for this movie like whatsoever. And look, let's be very clear. A lot of people, when we talk about how ridiculous certain ideas sound or how bad a certain movie sounds, they're like, how can you judge this movie yet when you haven't seen it? Well, let's keep in mind, there are two separate things here. There's making a determination, a judgment on about how a movie looks. And then there's judging a movie for how it actually is. Those are two separate things. I mean, we've talked about lots of movies that look like crap and then gone to see them, they're great. Uh, uh, Dread, Dread 3D, right? Mm -hmm. That movie was great, but that doesn't change the fact that it did look horrible. It was a horrible looking movie that actually ended up being great. So we're not judging Tetris. We haven't seen Tetris. We'll, we'll save that until we see the movie and then we'll judge it for the horrible piece of crap it is. But for now, <laughs> you know, for now all we're talking about is as a concept, as a concept, this is terrible. Well, I mean, there's, that's the reason why they have trailers and marketing and stuff like yeah. that. Otherwise, they'd be like, oh, this is the name of the movie, show up, you know? <laughs> if, you, if you can't make a judgment call based on trailers right. and footage and advertising, then what else is there? I would love it if Marvel did that on their next movie poster, show, show up. up. Yep. Yeah. That would be awesome. Dropping it next week. <laughs> Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.